So today we're going to be reacting to top 10 German inventions that changed the world. Hmm. <laughs> I know Germans have very good music. They have a lot of history with music. But I'm very intrigued to just know what's going on here. So make sure you like and subscribe. You're just going to jump in. I know I have a lot of German um, fans on my channel. So let's see what happens. Make sure you like and subscribe. You're just going to... There is no better decision than investing in high quality German inventions, especially if you want something that will make your life easier. There is a huge number of German inventions on the market. However, it can be difficult to find the right one. We have put together a list of the top 10 inventions in this video to assist you in finding the best German inventions. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm here with another exciting and informative video. Let's get into the video. That looks very cool. Number 10, diesel engine. Amongst the top really? German inventions, the diesel engine diesel? invented the pressure ignited huh. heat engine, which went on to become the predominant power source for large industries. The diesel engine diesel? named after was Rudolf Diesel. After getting his degree in engineering in 1880, Diesel returned to Paris when he designed and built a modern refrigeration wow. and ice plant, experimenting with no wonder why they're so advanced during the First World War and in the Second World War. Steam and ammonia vapor, diesel eventually settled on an oil-based fuel that was injected at the end of compression and ignited by the high temperature resulting from compression. Look at that, man. In 1896, diesel demonstrated an engine with an unheard of 75% efficiency and although refined many times over the years, the diesel engine that we use today is essentially diesel's 1896 design. Diesel envisioned his engine wow. being used by individuals and small companies to compete with larger companies in areas such as farming and construction. Today, the diesel engine is indispensable in the transport and construction industries. Number 9. Bunsen Burner The Bunsen Burner was invented out of need and opportunity. In 1852, the University of Heidelberg wanted to hire noted chemist Robert Bunsen to picture, head their bro. chemistry ah. department. To lure him, they promised to build a new chemistry laboratory. Like many European cities at that time, Heidelberg was installing coal gas lines for street and house lighting. The designers of the new laboratory took advantage of the new gas lines and planned to install gas wow. not only for illumination, but for laboratory experiments. Now, how many accidents he had trying to invent this? How many accidents? As well. The new laboratory opened in 1855 with 50 Bunsen burners ready for students and researchers to use. In 1857, Bunsen published a paper describing his burner design and laboratories around the world began to adopt his superior burner design. Number 8. Electron Microscope One of the key inventions of the 20th century is the electron microscope. It allows objects to be magnified up to 10 million times, wow. and it has literally changed how we see the world. In 1931, the German physicist Ernst Ruska and the electrical engineer Max Noll created the first working electron microscope. Their early prototypes weren't able to magnify as much as an optical microscope, but by the late 1930s, Ruska and Noll had significantly improved the devices. An electron microscope uses electrostatic and electromagnetic lenses to form an image Man, by controlling an electron bro. beam these are not little inventions. These are big inventions. that is focused on a target object. It allows objects as small as a single atom oh. to be viewed. Work on the electron microscope halted during World War II. After the go. war, scientists from all around the world began working on improving and refining Ruska and Knoll's design. Oh, we got a couple of those. NASA? I'm gonna leave it at that. They created the scanning electron microscope, which detects electron emissions from a target, allowing scientists to see more objects wow. than is possible with Ruska and Knoll's design. They also created the reflection electron microscope, which detects elastically scattered electrons. This allows scientists to see how particles interact with other matter. Number 7. Printing Press the method of printing from movable type was invented by Johannes Gutenberg sometime around 1456. 1456 yep. 
Yeah, that was a huge invention. The scope of the invention included the creation of a metal alloy that melted easily and cooled quickly, which was used to form durable, reusable type and oil-based ink that was thick enough to adhere to the metal type, then transfer to paper or vellum and a press. The press needed to apply firm, even pressure to the printing surface and it was likely adapted from existing vine, oil or paper presses. Gutenberg was born oh, in the German town of Mainz and became skilled in metal working. By 1450, Gutenberg received a loan from a financier named Johann Fust to continue his printing experiments. When Gutenberg was slow to repay the loan, wow. Fust sued and won control of the type and press. It was under Fuss's name that the first printed works, the 42-line Bible and a Psalter were released. The Psalter in particular was magnificently Huge. decorated. Gutenberg's con Huge invention. I don't, I don't think people understand how important the invention of the printing press was. I don't think so. Contribution was recognized, <laughs> however, because by 1465, he was receiving a pension from the Archbishop of Mainz that included grain, wine, and clothing. Number six, radar system. It really? was first indicated by J. A lot of these inventions I thought was Americans. I guess I'm getting a school here because the radars, I thought that came from Americans. German Americans, but James Clerk no, Maxwell like and his it. groundbreaking work on electromagnetism that building of radar like systems is possible. It was materialized only at the outset of the 20th century that different instruments and gadgets made use of electromagnetic That's principles crazy, with man. German scientist Christian Hulsmeyer developing a ship detection system primarily aimed to guide ships safely through the sea haze. Designing such systems which allowed the production of small radio energy pulses was an important step towards the creation of contemporary radar systems. Amongst the popular German inventions in marine engineering and aerospace engineering, radar systems picked up quick progress during World War II and were the key element that steel. No wonder why they were so, so confident during the Second World War, because they have a lot of these inventions already rolling and they were using them. the Allies towards success. Number fifth, the tape recorder. Nah. The next time you listen to music on the go, remember to thank a couple of German inventors. Nah. The first practical tape recorder, the Magnetophon K1, was demonstrated in 1935. During World War II, the Allies became aware of simultaneous radio broadcasts with unusually high quality. They were aware of the existence of the magnetophone recorders, but they didn't know about the existence of high-frequency bias and oh. PVC-backed tape. During the sense. war, the Allies captured a number of German magnetophone recorders from Radio Luxembourg. It was an American audio engineer, John Mullen, along with the famous crooner Bing Crosby, who really put magnetic tape on the map. During oh. the closing days of the war, Mullen was tasked with learning about German radio and electronics. At a studio in Bad Neuham, he picked up magnetophone, high-fidelity recorders, and 50 reels wow. of recording tape. Crosby eventually invested $50,000 in the California electronics company Ampex, which became the world leader in tape recording. Wow. Number 4. The MP3 Music Format MP3 stands for MPEG Audio Layer 3 and it is a standard for audio compression whereby music files are made smaller yeah. by a factor of 12 with little or no loss of quality. MPEG is an acronym for Motion Pictures Expert Group and is a group of standards for audio and Don't video that, that are set by the in Don't tell me that was invented by Jeremy Stu. Industry Standards Organization ISO. The first standard, MPEG-1, appeared in 1992 and it was for low bandwidth. Later on, the high bandwidth compression standard MPEG-2 was introduced which was good enough for use with DVD technology. MPEG Layer 3 I or MP3 those. involves only audio compression. In April 1989, Germany's Fraunhofer Institute received a German patent for MP3 and in 1992 it was integrated into MPEG-1. In November 1996, MP3 received a patent in the US and in 1998, Fraunhofer began enforcing its patent rights, making developers of MP3 encoders and decoders pay a licensing fee. In the early 19- You are so cool if you were, were the one of those 
That's very interesting. These are huge inventions, man. 90s, Fraunhofer tried to create an MP3 player, wow. but it wasn't until the late 1990s when MP3 was integrated into the Windows operating system wait, with WinAmp that playing MP3s really caught on. Number 3. Coffee Filter Melita Benz, a Dresden housewife, grabbed her moment in 1908 when contemplating why her coffee was always overbrewed and bitter. She wanted to eliminate the harsh flavor created by boiling loose grinds or using the traditional it's linen technique. It's true, it does. If you, if, if you boil coffee, it does have a different flavor because I used to make it like that. I used to take a coffee and put in like a old filter, not, a, what, what, not, not the modern filters. And you brew it and you try to drink it from there, it tastes much different, it's true. ...technique of brewing coffee. Benz patented the invention after realizing she could make a more delightful cup by filtering away the loose grounds with an improvised paper filter and the family firm Melita Group KG now employs about 3,300 people. Hence, we hope wow. that this video helped you explore the earliest and greatest German inventions which brought technological advancements that blow your mind how these inventions changed the world. Number 2. Chip Card the products of German ingenuity are in your wallet too. Chip and pins, what? SIM cards, credit cards, health insurance cards, IDs, and other anything really? else that holds data on a chip. It started in the finance sector when banks decided that a magnetic strip and signature wasn't secure enough and looked for alternative solutions. German engineers Jürgen Detloff and Helmut Gottrup developed the microprocessor cards as early as 1969 and patented them wow. in 1977. Today, smart cards and chips are being woven into passports in Germany and Belgium, social security cards in Austria and permanent resident cards issued by the Department of Homeland Security in the United States. Number 1. X-Ray Generator German inventors and thinkers have dominated science for centuries, as well yeah, as discovering like whole... See, like you can see, man, these people are, were not playing around, bro. What is it about them? They just... When it comes down to Austrians and Germans, they're always ahead of the curve, man. It's weird. That little region has something going on. I don't know if it's in the water or something or the air that they're breathing, that it just create these great geniuses, man. All fields of medicine such as bacteriology, Germans are also responsible for some of the medical inventions we take for granted. The physicist Wilhelm Conrad von Röntgen discovered x-rays in 1895. Since then, its use in radiography has only increased with almost 200 million x-rays taken each year in the US alone to diagnose everything from broken bones to pneumonia. Wow. If you guys like this video or this video helped you, please give the video a like. We will, if bro. you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on the latest and greatest in tech info. Till next time. Wow. Hey, man. Hey. What? Whoa, man. There's some weird stuff going on. Well, man, this is good, bro. Good stuff, man. Good stuff, man. Top German medical invention for Nazi period of time. Oh, I have to watch that, bro. I have to watch that. My God, there's a lot of inventions. He didn't even touch music, bro. He didn't even touch music. German music, <laughs> another level, bro. Another level. I'm telling you, the art, German art is good, bro. Huge lineage of history. <sighs> Man, this is insane. Let me know what you guys think about this. You guys knew all these were invented by German. I'm not surprised, but at the same time, I, I'm kind of, I am. Because I thought even the MP3 format was invented by Americans, but it was not. Or the coffee filter. German. All places German, man. Hmm. Germany. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.